Wow. It feels so good to be back outside in, hey. in nature. Hey. <laughs> in nature. When have we ever been outside in nature? What do you mean? Our second podcast. episode. Yeah, our second episode. Oh, That's nice. nature. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's, they don't even know because it's, we, it's not up. Right, Damn. Well, <laughs> well let's, let's get to it. Hey, 77 <laughs> Flavors started right now. This is the podcast where we visit all 77 of Chicago's historic neighborhoods and discuss their heritage and taste the amazing food. And if you know anything about us, we love two things, food and Chicago, so I can't wait to burn this gas money. You ready? Let's get it. This is the 77 Flavors of Chicago, the podcast. Uh, hey. Uh, uh, if if yeah. there was ever an episode where we burnt gas money, oh yeah, <laughs> it's this one, baby. Yeah, yeah. We 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 first of all, before before shit. we even start, before we even begin this episode, yeah, I don't want to hear it about my eyelashes. <laughs> <laughs> what you mean? I don't want anyone coming for me or my lack of lashes. Damn. Okay. You lacking out here? You know, my eyes watered. I missed my appointment. Because I wasn't feeling good. Your eye water, and that stop you from? Yeah, so when your eyes water, if there's too much water, the uh, the glue melts, and so your your false lashes fall off. Oh. Um, Wait, how did it get on I your eyelid? My f- what? My eyelashes. Yeah, the wa- don't the water come down out your eye? Yeah, but when you're closing your eyes, oh, yeah, when you cry, your eyelashes don't get wet? I mean, those, the bottom you, lashes you, do. You cry eyes open. Well, that's what I was wondering. You cry eyes open. <laughs> you don't close your eyes ever. When I- <laughs> Anyway, the I point didn't. is, don't come for my lashes. Yeah, okay. Y'all don't come for her lashes. Next week, I'll have we'll be back on. Yeah. Shout out to my girl, Sarah. Bing, 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 bing. Chicago Lash Studio. Hey. Out here, she's doing the Lord's work. <laughs> she is. She's doing Lord's work. Uh, Dario. Sarah. And we outside, y'all. Yeah, we outside. We, we are. We are outside here in the elements. First good day of, of uh, Chicago weather in a long ass time. Yeah, everybody outside. Everybody, I mean, everybody outside. We are. We are in probably as far south as you can get in Chicago. It's literally as far south. Yeah, this is probably. yeah, yeah. You can't get no further than this. But, uh, boy, I heard the way you look back at that duck. I know that little goose. Boy, I, I know if y'all y'all hear that, they, they about to come get our ass. Man. We ain't been outside a long time. Man, I'm throwing this camera at this goose. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, hey, first of all, not our I'm about bir- to knock not this shit only, over. Not only are birds not real and members of the U- United States government, birds are real, but geese members. <laughs> Geese are the bottom of the barrel CIA agents. You said they okay? members. Ops. <laughs> <laughs> Ops. <laughs> Sneaky. Yeah. And they don't care who knows. I mean. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I, look, Ops. Y'all. Geese are Ops. I don't care. Birds are real, y'all. Come no, birds now. are not real. Birds are real. They, they poop on you like they're real. I ain't oh, never been shit. shit on. Doesn't that feel like the U.S. government <laughs> that <to> do? You? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, let's go ahead. That was Thank good. You so much. <laughs> That was good. You just like okay. All right, that was good. Like, all right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We still got to get out of your tax. How's your week? <laughs> my week was good. Yeah. Uh, the high of my week this week was my dance class that I did. You out there shaking your ass still? You know, still. <laughs> still. Look at like you. I started <laughs> and then I stopped and now I'm back again. I think you mentioned it before, so people oh, know you out here. Maybe I did. Maybe yeah. I did. We did formation by Beyonce. <laughs> That yeah yeah look at you, you thought yeah. I could get yeah. near that beat. Uh, the pit of my week was missing my eyelash appointment. <laughs> the, pit, <laughs> the pit of your week. Yeah, that was definitely the pit. That was, it was a rough week, y'all. That is, you, you look weird. I, I, I know I understand I come from a pr- place of privilege, <laughs> but I'm I'm fine. I'm fine with it. Yeah, you, Let this be the one thing I'm privileged about. Yeah, shit, you really do here. love your lashes, man. You be bad when I don't recognize them. Because you know why? It's not only is it disrespectful <laughs> how, as hell and toxic. Okay? How is it toxic? Because I spend hours. And hundreds of dollars getting my lashes done. And for you to be like, I didn't notice shit. Yeah, I mean. Like, what? I mean, it's like if you got, went and got your hair cut. And I was like, I didn't notice. But your you notice that. Then you can notice. That's that's a major part of my head. So are my eyes. No. Your eyes, yeah. True. I mean, but your eyes, not your okay, eyelashes. So basically what you're saying is you never looked at my eyes. <laughs> I look at them all the time. Okay, what color are they? Don't brown. say brown because that's racist. You just assumed that it, they were brown. What are they? Look at you. Look at it. <laughs> look at yeah, you. They dark, look at they you. dark brown. They're like dark brown hazily. Yeah. Yeah, hazily. No, they're look not hazily. Damn, I wish. Uh, anyway, uh, highlight of my week. Yeah. Uh, actually, uh, happened today. Okay. You know, happened today. Um, we were outside. Finally, good weather. You know, I mm. go outside, and, and y'all, I want to take some pictures. You know, I was actually doing a photo shoot for a friend of ours. Yeah, and uh, yeah. doing a doing a photo shoot. And, uh, you know, while I was doing that, you know, we were doing the clothes change and everything, his family came uh, by, we were leaving Park Zoo, by the way, and they were like, yo, uh, can you help us take some pictures? And I said, yeah, you know what? Matter of fact, 
I, not, I'll take pictures, but I'll take it with my camera, too. So get you some professional shots. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Send them over. Send them over to you, you know? Uh, and then uh, while that was happening, mm. the lady goes to me. She said, hey, um, uh, when are you going to be on TV next? You know, because they thought I was joking about being a photographer and being a comedian and shit like yeah, that. Yeah. And so I said, you know, actually, May 26th, you can catch me on WTTW. Hey, yeah. uh, and uh, I'll, I'll be. Chicago Quiz Show. Yeah, with Jeffrey Bear, my home guy, you know? So uh, I, <laughs> okay. All right. I told him I, I told him that, and they were like, okay, cool. Hurt my feelings, Jeffrey, but. No, 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 no boy, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but while that was happening, mm. uh, you know, somebody came up to me and was like, hey, I recognize you. I don't know if you remember me from C2E2. Uh, and you were like, I don't remember. I, yeah, I was, I was. No, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I didn't record. I didn't remember. I remember now after the fact. Yeah, we yeah, were, yeah. we were inside of the uh, Starbucks. Right. When we start, oh, when we met them. Yeah. Remember? I remember yes, now. I remember, I remember now. Uh, but uh, they were like, Hey, um, I listened to your podcast, and I was like, Oh snap, this is cool. That's crazy. And it was like perfect timing because I just told them that yeah. uh, the, the one family that you I'm about to be that, on TV. I, that I'm somebody. That's a, that's a yeah. really nice moment. It was for uh, so that's that's what you get for wearing our branded shit yes. all the time. By yeah. the way, mm-hmm. uh, if you if you love this podcast, if you love the city of Chicago, we have a bunch of merch yes, we on our website. Uh, and I'm saying this now because it is currently not on the website. But by the time this episode comes out, it will be on the. <laughs> On the website, and that's just applying pressure, y'all. Yeah, okay? yeah, yeah. On, our, on the person that edits our uh, our website. Yeah. Oh, I thought you, man. Look, <laughs> all right, look, y'all. I get, today, I get it done. Today, today, one of our friends, Aaron, asked me. She was like, "I want to order a T-shirt, but the, it's only sweatshirts on the website." I was like, "You're absolutely right. It we'll, is, we'll it change is that. T-shirt season. It is T-shirt season. We'll it's get some T-shirts." It's officially 80 degrees out today. Yeah, we'll get some T-shirts made. Uh, I, I, you know, so that was that, that was the highlight of my week. You know what I mean? That's a good that, highlight. That was a good highlight. But the cool thing is, after that, another person uh, came up to me. Another photographer took a picture of me as I was taking pictures, yeah. doing good deeds out here, and they they recommended you me know? on Instagram. You I know? appreciate it. Um, so I, the pit pitfall of the week, uh, honestly, it was it was the you weather. Broke your toenail. Oh man, that that happened all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, I don't. Into shit. Hey y'all, I don't cut my big toe at the same Stop. time I my, cut my other toes. So I just so them bad boys. Sometimes we they grow stop so long. About your toes. <laughs> Remember, somebody out here, somebody out here got a fetish with it, you know. Not with your toes. I mean, you ain't never seen them. <laughs> I mean, right. You know, but you ain't I'm never seen them. Like, but oh. my shit good though, y'all. Just want to let you know. I just don't cut them bad boys on the regular. You know, I I kind of let them lapse. Anyway, enough of my enough of my feet, man. Uh, one thing I do want to say. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how to respond. Not okay. me either. Uh, it's a hard transition. Yeah. Um, to the person that uh, knew us from C2E2, knew me from C2E2 and everything, uh, they asked about what happened to the first three episodes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, Man, let that shit go. Yeah, no, 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 no. Like, and look, I mean, they they not, they not there still. We can right. re-release them if we wanted to, but we Sarah don't want to. I just think I just think you guys deserve better. Better quality. Uh, better quality. <laughs> not in terms of the audio, but in terms of the content. Yeah, right. You know, <laughs> we were... And you know what? If you don't like the shit we're putting out now, you yeah, you definitely, definitely not going to yeah, like yeah, the first three episodes. I mean, and that wasn't even bad, but like if we getting criticized... No. But we're not, but we're not. We're not even really getting criticized know, now. So anyway, anyway, I don't want to say that, but like nonetheless, the point I'm trying to make is... Um, you were, we're, yo, we, we'll get... We'll figure out the first three yeah. episodes. As like we're a lost episode, literally. We're going to redo them. So if yeah. you if you've noticed over the last few weeks, we've been releasing two episodes a week. Yep. So those first three episodes are going to be re-recorded and then released during the week on a Wednesday, uh, in the next coming few weeks, and yeah. you'll see them. There, we're doing Beverly, um, and then. Uh, well, I forgot the other ones that we took down. Lakeview. Yeah, Lakeview, Beverly, Lakeview, and uh, shit. Whatever, uh, well, what should have been? What should have been? Um, uh, uh, street apart. Uh, street, street street of, it's not, but it's not Streeterville. It's not Streeterville. It's, uh, anyway, you know, it's near Northside. Yeah, is what it come, is. It'll come. Y'all realize how large near Northside is. We'll get that's when we get to is. it. That's what she said. <laughs> See, damn. It said. is near Northside. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, that shit near uh, Northside is the Midwest of your body. No, I'm just shit. Right, let's stop it. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Midwest of your body. It is. <laughs> Um, y'all, uh, you, we are location. You can see all this water. Um, water. I can't swim. So yeah, you can. If I fall back, we right we right here by the water. You could definitely swim. Shit. What you mean? You're not about to. Well, no, no, no. Dario doesn't float. That don't. Y'all don't float. Isn't that crazy? I've tried. I, I don't even tried. float on salt. So we literally went on well, let, salt let me, water. Let me explain that because nobody floats on salt. But what you uh, mean? <laughs> <laughs> we went to Airy Spa. Well, let's redact that because they're not sponsoring us. But, yeah, <laughs> we, <laughs> we, we went, went to a spa, uh, and they 
have a saltwater pool that mm-hmm. everyone is meant to float in. Most people. Right? Dario sank. I sank, y'all. Just too much muscle. Was, yeah. You see? <laughs> okay, calm down. You know? right, let's move on. <laughs> let's move on. Your boy out here too strong. <laughs> too big. Too fast. Too changed. Too straight. Hey, you look, I ain't got nothing over today, but y'all, I don't float. So if y'all see your boy just fall backwards over here, good chance I've been gone. It's been nice knowing y'all. Yeah, no, don't say that. I'll rescue you. <laughs> okay, cool. All right. Yeah, um, anyway, you, yeah. enough of the morbid shit. Uh, but behind us is uh, Indiana. <laughs> First of all, that was my joke. So, I can't oh, believe fuck. you stole it. We'll redo that. Go no, ahead. No, no, no. Run right. it back. Go ahead. No, it's all right. No, go ahead. I got I, I got it. Watch. I'm going to do something fun. Okay. So right behind us is what I like to refer to as India Na. <laughs> Thank you so much. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> And that means hell no. no. <laughs> we we are in Hedge Hegwidge. Hegwish. Uh, Hegwish. Uh and Hegwish is you know I, you know where before but, but yeah. Let's let's get right first though. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Let's, let's let's get right. Let's Cause learn I, I kinda today. wanna jump into it. You ready? Here we go. You said I'd like to jump into it after we did twenty minutes of no nothing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh let's jump into it. Yeah. Uh y'all, we are in Hegwish. Uh and it is community area number 55. Yeah. And uh, let's get into it. The boundaries. Mm. Uh, to the north, we've got 112th Street mm. slash 130th Street. You hear that? Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, to the south, we got 138th Street. Yep. Uh, t- and to the east, you got the Illinois-Indiana state line. And just so you all, again, where I was going with it, right behind us is Indiana. So we are literally on the border of Illinois and uh, Indiana right now. To the west, we got Burley Avenue, Thomas Avenue, to, uh, to Mance Avenue, and the Bishop Ford, uh, I-94, for those of you who that are not from around here. Um, and call yeah. it by the real name. <laughs> 94. <laughs> 94. <That's> 94. <laughs> 94. 94. Uh, here are the neighborhoods. Hegwish, Avalon Trails, Old Hegwish, mm. Arizona. Arizona. Let, there, you heard me correctly. Arizona. Um, here's here's what I got to say about Hegwish before we jump into this. Yeah, they call this the play, the uh, Marbury of Chicago, and, and for the old heads out there, y'all know this is from um, uh, the Andy Griffith Show. You know, okay, I believe that's the Andy Griffith Show, right? Yeah, sure. And, and it's Marbury and Mayberry, Mayberry, <laughs> not Marbury, Mayberry, and uh, this feels just like that place. I mean, I, this is as far. Literally. As far south in Chicago as you could possibly get. And, yeah. and this is the first place that we felt like they don't feel like Chicago. At all. It don't feel not one bit like Chicago. And I, I, I think I read somewhere that the people that live here do not consider themselves Chicagoans. Chicagoans. Which is, I mean, I, I do, honestly. Should I wouldn't if I lived out here. I'd yeah, for like, real. For what? For yeah. what? I can't even see the skyline. Yeah, that, right. That. Very true. Well, I mean, there's a lot of places in the city where you can't see the skyline. But, but like, for this to be for Chicago, a, a, a stretch you can't see it. until probably you hit like what Pullman. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't, it's I don't know. Far, it's honestly, far south. honestly, I did not even know this was a neighborhood in Chicago, uh, a community area. I'm sorry, in Chicago, Me I did not either. even know that. Uh, the reason why I say, I mean, it literally feels like yeah. you are in a different. It feel like you in Indiana or something. Like, yeah, like we, we literally said we feel like we're out of town. I mean, people were walking in around town, and they were just walking in places. <laughs> they, <laughs> everybody knew everybody. Yeah, literally. Like literally, it's, it's where everybody knows your name. Yeah, everybody knows your name. Everybody. We got, okay, that's yeah, good. Okay, because we could get flagged. Yeah, no, not off this, not off my off key ass. No, <laughs> <laughs> like, what is this? They're gonna be like, no, oh, no bro. No, no, actually, we don't claim this. No, big dog, we know you wrote that. You know, <laughs> that's <laughs> we, all you. We, that's all we you. We know you claiming that one. Yeah, that's all you. Uh, also, if you hear the little wind, just you know. Yeah, it. yeah, no, we always say that, but then you. I know, then you don't. Then hear you're it. like, damn, no but wind. But it's pretty windy today. Yeah, Hagwish. Uh <laughs> the strangest place, nice place, strange place. Yeah, it's just, it's just very, very like small town. It feels like they ain't Energy. developed yet. You know, don't say that. I don't know. No, I'm just. I don't mean don't that in a disrespectful that. way. I mean that sounds disrespectful to me. <laughs> no, that's, but I mean it feels like. You know why I feel I feel some type of way about that word about that word why? because they call places like Jordan uh, underdeveloped or developing okay. or third world, and I feel like that's the energy you came with. Okay, well, well, uh, not considering that fact, 
it still feel like it ain't done yet. <laughs> it's not done yet. <laughs> it feel like um, they it feel like they still need some shit to do here. But at the same time, it feel like they done. Like it feel like this is this is what it is. I, and I think I think the vibe that we got is everyone that loves here loves living here. Everybody that loves here loves lives here. Lives here. Okay. Loves living here. <laughs> yeah, okay. Don't That's do true. Me. Don't no, do me. I'm just saying. Um <laughs> everyone we spoke to, we spoke to uh someone that worked at one of the bars in the neighborhood. We spoke to a one couple of the people. Two. Yeah. <laughs> we spoke to a couple of people that work at the pizza place where we ate and everyone has been living here for like three decades. Yeah. Like they love living here. Yeah, right. I mean that's the thing. Everybody love it. Yeah. I mean, I can see why. It's very peaceful. Very peaceful. I mean, super peaceful. Yeah, there's like a <laughs> na- um uh what is it called? Uh, like a national park. Yeah, right. We're in a national park. Here's not a national park. Not yeah, not a national park. It's just a it's just a park. Yeah. Smokey the Bear is out here, y'all. Like I'm not even joking. There's a Smokey the Bear. I didn't even know that brother was still uh, the poster child for forest and shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like I thought, you know, I thought. Yeah, hey, no. let's get into the facts. I, these are the facts. This this place is different. It's, that's the fact. Okay. Well, here's the thing. Here's another fact. Here's another fact for you before we get to the other history. Uh, this place don't have a gas station. Oh yeah. That's how different. That's how Mayberry this place is. Yeah, I literally read that. Uh, as long as Indiana is across is across the border and you can drive there to get cheap gas, they, no one is ever going to open up a gas do. station in here because it'll be blame. city prices and they don't want to pay city prices when they could literally drive yeah. like twenty minutes and get gas yeah. if even. Yeah. By the way, we in, this is called Wolf Lake is where we at. Wolf we, Lake. This is Wolf Lake where we at right now. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, but now now I want to get into the history because like I just had to set that tone for y'all, like. I'm going to talk about it, but like, geez, look, this is different. Uh, so, history. Where it got its name from? Uh, Adolf Hegovich. Mm. Yeah, Hegovich. Uh, German. What, yep, was the president of the U.S. Rolling Stock Company and wanted to create an ideal workman community um, by the rail line. Sounds familiar. It sounds very familiar uh, to Pullman. And Pullman is literally, what, one or two uh, community areas away from here? Yeah. Not far. I mean, it takes I feel like the, the audacity five of these of these German men thinking they could <laughs> just come here and create the perfect town. Hey, shit. I mean, you know I, I, mean? I, mean, look, they, I mean, these were good lands. I mean. <laughs> it was empty otherwise. Yeah, they, yeah. they said. Yeah, that's what I can do it. Um, so and so that's how they mm. how this is how this became Hegovich. Now I called him Adolf Hegovich. Um, that's his name. Right. But uh, locals and thereafter we've been calling it uh, Hegovich. Uh, Hegwish. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, which you know I I get it. But it looks if you look at yeah. it. Yeah. You know. Because like the W is a V in yep. German or something. Yep. Yeah. I think. <laughs> I believe so. I don't. I, I yeah. Think. Yeah. Uh, history. Uh, this was Native American land, mm. uh, like everything else in Chicago. Yeah, yeah. I was <laughs> like, say. like it's everything all native. Else. But now here's the thing. Here's the thing uh, with this. Uh, I believe, and I and I, I'm pretty sure I'm accurate on this because there was a couple of different things. That's why I'm saying I believe y'all because I don't, I you know, I couldn't come to a conclusive air, uh, answer, but I I feel like this is the right answer. This was the last area where the Potawatomi were at. Before really? they were kind of like displaced, so to say. Yeah. So, um, keep that's uh, I, I, to comment on the fact that you couldn't couldn't through research get right, a makes con- sense. conclusive <laughs> answer is. I remember in in high school someone told us history is always written from the point of view of the victor. Yeah. Right. So, uh, of course, it's really hard to mainstream find that kind of information you really have to like go in depth and may- probably talk to a few people especially that, no. with native history it wasn't written down and it was lo- a lot of it was lost unless it was like you know c- contained within the communities yeah but that's probably where you learn more of that information yeah but that's that's not surprising at all that they didn't have a conclusive answer yeah yeah i mean and i I don't know. I, I, I tried. <laughs> I tried yeah, to find yeah. it. But that, I thought that was kind of interesting. That is um, interesting. Keep the thought process of last in y'all heads, okay? Uh, mm-hmm. Because we got a few more last things that are uh, tied to this area. Uh, now, after uh, the Native Americans settled, obviously time passed. And this uh, they were here because this was a nice trade route, right? This was a nice trade route uh, by, the, by the little lake right here. Um, uh, accessible, you know, to kind of move move about. Yeah. Um, immigrants uh, then came into the area uh, right around eight in the 1850s. The immigrants came in uh, and they built the railroads and mm. um, to kind of cross the Chicago area. And this right. is this is we out here, y'all. So Chicago to them uh, was farther. You know, <laughs> I think right now we're currently 16 miles from the loop. Right, probably. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we're like 16 miles from the loop, so uh, it's kind of far, you know, kind of far out there. Uh, 
this was originally a part of the Lake Township. Mm. And then after that, it was a part of the Hyde Park Township, which is very interesting. In 1867, yeah. Uh, pretty interesting that, again, y'all, if y'all remember, the Hyde Park was the, the, south side. was the entire south side. And since we are on the south side, this is this was a part of they were it. They are like, here you go, lump it. Yeah. Um, and, and then, of course, we know 1889 is when pretty much all of everything got annexed to the city. Right. Um, and that's how this became part of interesting. Uh, yeah, how it became part of Chicago. Yeah, that's yeah. very interesting. Uh, I, I really tried to f- read a lot about like local um, thought opinions processes, yeah. of, of, of living out here, like this far from the city. Uh, I think it's it's really interesting because like one person, uh, I read, they interviewed someone for the Tribune and the article came out in 2016. We could link it if you guys are interested in that. Hey. But uh you probably won't be able to read it unless you pay 12 cents for like hey, man, five years. Man, of, of, they like, own that. Man, just let it. They own that. Let us have this. <laughs> <laughs> like. um, but basically in the interview, the person said that this is so far from the city that the, the people that live in, the, in this community don't believe like they get the amenities of the city. Right. And so they're like, we don't consider ourselves part of the city. To them, the north side is 95th. Yeah, which is which is wild. Which is insane. <laughs> this is wild because most Northsiders have not been to ninety fifth. Yeah, Probably right. To that. Right. So. Yeah, most Northsiders don't even know you exist. Yeah. To be honest with you. But uh, <laughs> I think that's very that's very interesting that like they feel like, and I think they're okay with it. Like that's the sense of like that, yeah, that piece, okay. that opinion piece that I read was that they you know they don't want to be part of, they don't feel like they need to be part of. Um, I mean. Shit, I mean, if you're getting cheaper gas from Indiana, right. you know, like, I mean, right. I I don't know. I mean, it just, it does feel like these, they are, like, good in their own. Yeah, they're, I mean, they, they created, fine. like, a very close-knit community. Yeah. Um, literally everyone that walked into the Everybody. place that we went to knew everyone. Every, I mean, to, we'll get to this in the food part. Let's, let, I mean, but, yeah, yeah, y'all, yeah. it's it's actually kind of scary how it much is. they knew it's about so each other. It's so interesting. It's such a small You know how you, you know how you say shit like that? You'd be like, man, everybody know everybody. Yeah. And, and you'd no, be like, but yeah. but literally everyone yeah, knows. Yeah, literally everybody okay. knows everybody. Someone's listening is going to be like, yeah, we get it. Yeah, we, yeah, no, but we, we just said, land that message. What's really cool is that we out here and it's, it's first day of good weather really in Chicago yeah. um, we got family over here to our left and to the right we're looking in front of us we got family just beautiful people here, are man. fishing yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not done with the history obviously y'all obviously. a little slight tangent but uh, so check it out uh, the guy Adolf right so yeah. he died a few years after Hegwish was um, uh, this wind is going crazy yeah, y'all. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that if you um, can hear it yeah uh, he died a few years after uh, <laughs> um it was annexed to the city. Uh, when he did that, his company, uh, the Rolling Stock, became part of the Pressed Steel co- uh, Car Company. And the significance of that is the owners there uh, that took over really made Hagwish in the surrounding areas a steel factory type of place. You know, it made it a it made it a, a steel factory type of uh, situation. So. Um, uh, and now here's the thing: they developed steel mills uh, in and around uh, Hegwish. Uh, the Ford uh, plant. There's a Ford plant here. Mm-hmm. Also, we drove assembly plant. Yeah, assembly plant. That's right here, uh, which is really cool. And I know that it's there because it's accessible. This this lake right here. Yeah. I mean, it's a good spot to kind of be over here, especially with when they built all the steel. So yeah. Uh, and you gotta think back in these times too. That was re- that's probably really cool that um, uh, with Pullman kind of coming into its own, having work right. there uh, with the train yep. and then still here this was like a really booming industrial type of place yeah. right here and it still looks kind of industrial again it's very similar to like Pullman in terms of those vibes there's a lot of uh, business parks as you would call them or uh, parks where there's I guess a lot of warehousing or assembly units and manufacturing s- spots. So yeah. it's heavy on that industrial yeah. part. Heavy, heavy in here with it. Um, yeah. And uh, so now here's here's the interesting thing about um, that little transition of when it was annexed to the city. Kind of the reason why Hegwish was annexed mm-hmm. um, twice, essentially, is because Adolf had this vision of making his town kind of like a working man's town, right? right? Uh, but something that I didn't write down here, but I want to tell you all because kind of like you need to fill in the gaps in the story. The reason why it uh, was really annexed is because 
his vision of having he wanted to have about 10,000 people right. uh, work here, right? Uh, work here and live here and be in the area. When it was annexed to the city, about 500 residents were <laughs> registered in this area. Wow. So he was a shit ton away from his 10,000. 10, yeah. So um, like everything else that wanted to get um, and that got annexed to the city, the whole purpose of getting annexed to the city was to, to get resources. yeah resources, uh, amenities, and yeah. and different things like that. So uh, I wanted to say that because when that happened, obviously um, it started to pick up a little bit after the, after World War One uh, started to pick up right before yeah. World War Two and everything. Uh, new residents in the area uh, they were Polish, um, Yugoslavian, Czech, Swedes, and Irish uh, kind of moved to the area, and they were the ones kind of working in the steel mills and the factories around here, kind of keeping the industry yeah. going for Hegwish. Um, now, I told you this is a city of lasts, right? And they got some pretty interesting lasts here in Chicago. Okay. And, and when you hear these lasts, here I go with these damn hiccups again. Take yo. a shot, y'all. <laughs> take, take, take a shot, y'all. I'm sorry. Take a shot. If you're sorry. new here, we take a shot every time Dario burps on the podcast. <laughs> so you're welcome. There you go, y'all. This drink's on me. Yeah. It um, could be a non alcoholic shot. Yeah, right. Just yeah. a shot of water, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. you're probably hot as hell anyway. Get your therapy yeah. water in. <laughs> Get your th we ain't got that bottles around there. I know. Um, we need outside therapy glasses. Oh, you could just bring your. Also, Dario calls therapy water <laughs> in place of. Emotional support water there we, bottle. There we go. Whatever it is. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Uh, so here's the last. Uh, Hegwish is home to the last sawmill in the city. <laughs> it is... First of all, what's what's a sawmill? Uh, lumber, lumber oh. yards. Uh, <laughs> uh, the Calumet Harbor lumber is the uh, last sawmill here in Chicago. Wow. Oh, saw like. Yeah, saw. What you thought oh. I said? No, I know what you said. <laughs> I just now I just realized I know the meaning of the you word mean saw. Saw. Yeah, like cut. Cause I want a saw. Sarah won't let me get a saw, y'all. Actually, you I, got a saw. A saw. I got a saw. I got okay. a saw. I got a saw. Yeah. All right, redact that. <laughs> you, that's your favorite word this episode. I just used it twice. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, the last horse-drawn uh, fire engine was here. What? <laughs> yeah. Just, Damn, just slow ass fire engine. Man, look, you know, horse and buggy was a real thing. No, you know? no, no wonder the city burned down. Stop it! Come Out on. Here, horse and buggy, <laughs> bugging it. <laughs> Probably buckets of water on that bitch. It's <laughs> <Just> like, uh, <laughs> Josiah, you got the buckets? <laughs> hey, damn, I forgot them, Joe. <laughs> Man, I got them, but they're not full, though. You wanted me to put anything in them? Man, the city burning down. <laughs> the horse drinking. <laughs> the horse drinking. <laughs> he was thirsty. I was thirsty. The uh, horse was thirsty. Uh, and here's the, here's the thing. This is the, uh, the last trailer park in Chicago. Mm. Uh, it was here in Hedgewish. <laughs> yeah, it's I thought the, there would be more. Yeah, the Harbor Point Estates. Uh, you well, first I'll be honest. I didn't think we had trailer parks here in Chicago. Really? Okay, I didn't think I, so. Can I tell you that I thought trailer parks were just random? Like people would just sh like a bunch of people that lived in trailer parks would show up and be like, "We'll park here," and then they just park. <laughs> they can live there. I didn't know that you had it had to be like a zoned. Yeah, area. yeah. I mean, because you got to still deliver mail. I know. Yeah, but I just didn't why. know. I, I thought it was like it I was can like, see that though. A lot of places in the suburb, there's a lot of trailer parks in the suburb. Really? Yeah, a lot of trailer parks in the suburb. Um, and then when you go out to good weather places, right, there's, right, there's right, trailer parks, yeah. you know what I mean? Because, you know, you don't need I mean, that much. shit, that's the life. You get to travel around. Yeah, for real. I would love that. <laughs> I would, no, I would, you I know, wouldn't. Yeah, you're right. You're no, right. You I'm, wouldn't, not, you I'm not trying to do that. Ass. You're not trying ah, to be. Y'all ain't that bougie. Yeah, okay. I'm just, <laughs> All right. You like running water, right? I do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you bougie. You can get that at, at trailer parks? What do you mean? I know. There's I mean, some it's different, really though. nice ones. You got to be crafty to have a trailer. You know what I mean? Like, you got to yeah. be handy. Yeah. I couldn't. I couldn't. I'm not. And, I mean, I'm and, handy, but I ain't. And you also love to nap in nooks. So yeah, right. Yeah. I don't know about it. Yeah. I don't know about yeah. it. Yeah. Moment my shit starts shaking, I'm, I'm, I'm out that jam. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> also, out. who's driving it? I couldn't. Man, I could drive a big sure. car. I, I drove a, a BMW 760. Yeah, but you haven't driven it. Not a bus. Like, I mean, like a, you know, like a trailer. Or I guess most people don't move their trailer parks. Yeah, once you set that shit down, it's, their it's, trailers, that's it. I mean, yeah, yeah, you're yeah, there. Right. You just live there. I mean, I mean, that's a move boo. Unless anyway, you're in a movable. <laughs> irrelevant. Irrelevant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> skip past that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Skip anyway, the, the, I guess the, I guess for me, I didn't know it was trailer parks yeah, in yeah. Chicago. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, was it? I feel like if this was the last, it also was the first. <laughs> like, you I think let, so? I mean, I'm pretty sure. Where else? More. Where else are they trailer parks? Shit. I mean, no, I'm not a trailer park Ex connoisseur. Uh, connoisseur. <laughs> Expert. Yeah. Uh, one last Historian, fact. Historian. Yeah. <laughs> Redact that. <laughs> That's your favorite. I'm, I'm just gonna say. Anyway. As such. Yeah. <laughs> say I haven't said that. That you said it this time. <laughs> Um, one last thing uh, mm. about Wolf Lake here. Uh, so the cool thing about Wolf Lake, um, 
uh, behind us is this was a favorite getaway spot um, for Abraham Lincoln and his family. Okay, really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's yeah. that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a nice lake. It's, it's a nice, very nice. It's a beautiful park. Super, super nice. I mean, super nice. Black well, people outside, you got to get on this. Yeah, for real. Honestly, yeah. they actually have like a hiking trail out here. Yeah. In the in the like yeah, further the, down that way. Yeah. Um, you could you could barbecue out here. There's people barbecue. There's people fishing. Yeah. Man, fuck these geese. I swear to God. You scared geese, as hell? Yeah. Why? I don't I don't like geese. I'm telling you. They're oh oh, oh oh oh! It is a big ass duck out here. Okay. It's a goose and it's an op. <laughs> He, that motherfucker gonna pull up on us. Let him do this on the look on the him, podcast. It's look a wrap. At him fluttering his, his don't don't worry about it. It's all good. Uh, y'all, that is the history part. Of the, that's the history <laughs> right, part. We're gonna we're gonna rotate. Too we're much gonna, going on. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna rotate. We're, we're gonna get some motion out of here yeah. before Sarah get bit by <laughs> by a goose. By a goose. Uh, y'all, okay. we out of here. Uh, we out this jam. Uh, we'll, we'll be, be right, right back. back. We'll be we're right back. We're out of here. We'll be right back. Stop saying we're out of here. Yeah, whatever. We are back. Hey. With the food portion of the episode. Bam, bam, minus bam, bam. the geese. Minus the geese. Man, fuck these birds and these kids. They they large, <laughs> yo. They're, they, they're large. These some big ass birds. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a picture while we while we go ahead, keep on while going. While we're out here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and this, listen. This shit crazy. It is crazy. Uh anyway. We uh had pizza today and yeah. other things. Yeah. <laughs> and assortments. Boy, we had a lot. We went to Pudgy's Pizza, mm-hmm. which is located on, th- well, it's 13460. How do you pronounce that? 13460. That's what I would have said. Okay, well, 13460. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you trying to be different. Baltimore <laughs> Avenue. Uh, be more. Here. Blah, blah. Well, anyway, <laughs> look at look at the little geese eating grass, yeah, yeah, eating as trash hell. as hell. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, anyway. Um, so I have a little history about Pudgies. Okay. I asked the owner. I was like, "What's going on?" Yeah. Tell, tell me the tea. Yeah. Uh, and then, th- basically, Pudgies has been around for forever. Uh, it used to be a beauty salon. Mm-hmm. And um, if you walk in, you can actually kind of tell. Yeah, you like can kind of tell. Now that, when almost, they said it. Yeah, it's almost like there's a little tiny waiting area. And then in the back, you could imagine where all of the um, mm-hmm. all of the seats would have been yeah. uh, for the beauty things. But uh, a very long time ago, the place was bought and turned into a pizza place. But what's funny is that the owners actually it was more kind of like a social club yeah. like they were like the the owners and the workers were very good friends and they would sit around and like chat all day and hang out and then they would be like really annoyed when someone walks in and orders some pizza yeah, yeah. but it was pretty good pizza <laughs> um and then someone in some family passed away and then <laughs> pudgies who is Bob? I believe his name. I is, believe it was. Yeah. Right. Uh, he bought it, mm-hmm. and the way the reason he bought it was because he used to work at the mill. Yeah. And then he would come home from work every single day. He lived right across from Pudgy's. He would order a pizza, jump in the shower, get out of the shower, the pizza would be there. They deliver from right wow. across the street. Right. Wow. Uh, and then after a while, he started delivering pizzas for him for them. Uh, and then after a few years, he actually bought it, and so he owned it for I want to say twenty five years. Wow. 20, yeah, yeah. 20, 20, 21 years ish, and he just gave it up because right? uh, the new owners ha- have been there for four years. Mm-hmm. But it's the, still the same recipes. Yeah. It's still this. Everything inside it is still the same. Yeah, right. Uh, his name is Bob because the pizza that we ordered was called Bob's Mistake, and that, that's a beautiful mistake. Yeah. Um, now, uh, wait, go, 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 go. go. Uh, I was gonna say like I was just gonna talk about like the general energy of being in there. So that, yeah, me too. Um, so it's th- there's one table. Yeah. One table that fits two people. Okay. This is mostly a to-go kind of spot. Yep. Uh, they have like four pizza ovens and they make, they also make sandwiches. So it's not just pizza, mm-hmm. but uh, they have, it's open. Like you could literally watch your pizza get made. Yeah. You can stand there. Just I watch. Love, that was so cool. That was really dope. Uh, I've never been to a pizza place like that. No. And um, yeah, so you can watch your pizzas getting made. And then the owner is right there. She's in the front, taking orders, taking phone calls, cutting up the pizza, boxing it up. Um, Doing everything. One of the delivery people is, he's also right there. And he was like hanging out, delivering pizzas. The guy that drove the yeah, Mustang. Yeah. <laughs> now here's the crazy part. Here's the crazy part. Um, we were talking about like how everybody know everybody here, but people yep. literally were walking in and the, 
the hostess, I, I don't forgot her name. She was right there, the one that was taking orders and everything. Yeah. She would know everybody's Every, order. Not everybody. Order's name. Everything. Uh, what they normally everything. get. Why? Like, where? How long is it going to be? One person I, walked in and was like, they had a super large pizza. And, and the other person said, um, and they go eat all that? And then the delivery guy was like, oh, no. She um, she usually eat that for uh, later. She, has, she usually has it for a few for, days. For a few days, but yeah. But sometimes her her son comes in on the weekends. Yeah. So maybe this is a weekend where her son's coming in. And I was like, y'all how know do that? you know all yeah, that? Y'all know that? What's crazy is uh, there was a lady that walked in. And she forgot her order. She said, yeah, right. she, like, I don't know she said, I forgot what I got, but it had uh, this and onions on it. No, she said it had, she goes, green olives and mushrooms. And she's like, yep. Yeah. And, and, she, and she knew, <laughs> what? she guessed her, she knew her order and she didn't even know what she yeah. ordered. And it was like, and they, and she just took it and left. What, I was like, what, what if this town is a simulation? It, it might be. Shit. It might be. Um, it's as close to a simulation as we've gotten so far. I mean, because like I've never been someplace where people know each other like yeah. that. Yeah. Like, and the delivery guy was also. I feel like he's just like friends with the owner. By the yeah. way, I don't think he's like officially hired on as the delivery yeah. guy. Yeah. Okay, because he he's like chilling. he was just hanging out. Um, but what he was saying was like when his daughter moved here, she like previously had lived with her mom, and then when she moved here when she was in seventh grade, yeah. he told her he was like. Don't do anything because before you do it, I'm going to find out before you get home. Yeah. <laughs> right? yeah, yeah. And one day she went into a store like very shortly after she moved there. And a person was like, oh, you're blah, 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 son. And your dad is a teacher at this school. She and, was shook. and she was like, how do you know everything about my life? Like, I just moved here. <laughs> yeah. That's the vibe. Yeah. Yeah. That, it's so amazing. Uh, yeah. here's, a, here's another cool thing for about the food in the area in general, that was really cool. So we went to um, uh, 81 2, which is another club, club 81 club, eight, club 2. Um, and so we were there. They didn't have food, not the day we were yeah, on, but yeah. um, they didn't have food. But what they were telling me is since there's only two bars in the uh, whole uh, area community, here, yeah. community here, if you order delivery yep. and have it sent to the um, uh, to the bar, what they do is if you order large, they will give you an extra large at the same price just to help out the community, support yeah. the community Literally. because it's so small. Yeah, I thought that That's was the so coolest dope. shit. <laughs> and, and so like, dope. like if I like if you because everybody know each other, yeah. so you ain't trying to you ain't trying to like cannibalize. Right, right. You know what I mean? Like you're trying to support. Yeah, you know what I mean? So like hell, and you bringing food to the think Literally. about that. They don't even have to cook all the time. You just order pizza. Have it delivered there. Yeah. You know what it get. It only took us. It's going to take you three minutes, four minutes. Literally three minutes. Three minutes, minutes to get yeah. from place to place. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I thought that was really dope. I was like, damn. Like, And, yeah. and she said, she's, she, Laura was her name at uh, 81 mm-hmm. She said, um, we just want to, we just want to uh, celebrate. Yeah. And, and she, like, for example, she's from Wisconsin. <laughs> and she's the bartender at Club 81 which was yeah. where we originally wanted to go. Yeah. But she said she's from Wisconsin. She's been living here for 38 years. Yeah. 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 She, she had a, had a crazy, crazy uh, little run there. She grew up fast, she told yeah. us. Um, but yeah, she's she been down here. Yeah. Um, living in the area for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, uh, yeah. Let's get to what we ate yeah. at Pudgy's. Yeah. First of all, you could get six sodas for $5. <laughs> That's a steal. Insane. That's a steal, y'all. You must be getting that shit from Indiana. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, um, but they're, so for their menu, uh, you get the pizza menu, you get to choose from your toppings, but they also have specialty pizzas. Mm. So we got the large uh, Bob's Mistake, yeah. which was recommended by Laura at Club 81. She was yeah. like, you definitely need to try Bob's and Mistake. And Laura had the menu. Yeah, she was like, she was like, oh, here, you want to see their menu? I was we were like, like yeah. For not your restaurant? Yeah, for you. She was like, yeah, for the other place you're going to? Yeah, yeah. we'll see the menu. That's sure. crazy, yeah. Yeah. Um, but Bob's mistake, Bob used to be the previous owner, is sausage with fresh garlic, fresh tomatoes, and red and green pepper strips on top. And the large is $23.75. And it's a lot. That is large. That's, it's a lot, y'all. Yeah. Like. So the large is actually 16 inches. Yeah. Um, it is so good. It is. Uh, so just to give you, it's a tr- kind of... Oh, we traditional got thin, Chicago. We got thin crust. Yeah, thin yeah. crust. It's traditional Chicago, y'all. So like yeah, squares this, and everything. Yeah, this Chicago. You know what I mean? It, yeah. It is. It is smacking. First of all, you said it too. You you said it to me. I can't believe you eating. Uh, yeah. So the pizza tomato. comes with fresh tomatoes, and yeah. Dario is like picky McPickerson, so he doesn't eat fresh tomatoes <laughs> yeah. like that. Hey, look. And it comes with fresh garlic on top, and he smacks. I smack. Look, y'all. The thing is called Bob's Bob's mistake. 
So I I put two Bob's and two what? together. Mistake. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's called Bob's mistake. And if they could sell a mistake, I'm sorry, that shit got to be good. Listen. So I so I was like, you know what? Let's we gonna it go was, all in. Yeah, it was really really good. Fire, y'all! Like li- the crust was the perfect amount of crunchy. It was. The cheese <laughs> was so like stringy. Yes. It was so pull like the cheese pull was erotic. Yeah, okay. Ooh, erotic. Okay. Okay. It was, it was. Oh wow! And um, <laughs> the sausage. Uh, with the erotic piece, and I'm just like, okay, yeah. uh, the sausage was like it was like big, uh, you know how you know sausage was big. It was big chunks of it. Uh. <laughs> That's what she said. Stop. All right. Okay. Um, and then the uh, the green pepper and, and the green pepper is is red and green pepper are cooked on there, so they're not like fresh crunchy. Yeah. They're like cook, a little cooked down. They're not like too soggy. Yeah. Uh, and then the fresh garlic on top. I don't know how there's. Fr- I didn't see it. I didn't see you it. Could taste you could it. definitely taste it, and it's, it wasn't overbearing either. Oh my god! Every time, like literally, I think the fresh garlic is what set it off. Yeah, I, it's hard to tell what. Because, I, don't, like, I know. I know. The everything sauce was, was fire. yeah. Sauce was fire. The the freshness of the the vegetable. Yeah. Uh, was on there. The, the fresh, sausage was honestly. I'm, I've never had pizza with fresh tomatoes on yeah. it, but that was really, really good. That was fantastic. Yeah, I mean, really it was good. it was really good. I mean, like, and the yeah. cool thing is, you could taste the flavor right. in every bite. Right. You know what I mean? Like, uh, so good. You you want to read what's on the front of the menu since we talking about it? Like, it, I do want to read what's yeah. on the front, front yeah, yeah. of the menu. It says original thin crust pizza, still homemade, one at a time. Pudgy's Pizza, and then it says the number one pizza on the South Side. I mean, <laughs> voted top five in Chicago by WGN, <laughs> top five in Chicago Pizza City by Steve Dillinsky, <laughs> which you know our our guy Steve yeah, is yeah. the pizza guy. He, if he say it, if anybody, he said it's top pizza, five. It's like, Steve. The crazy thing is, we saw that we was like top five. Come on, like oh, come I on, mean, Steve. And here's the thing. This is technically Chicago, so yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it's technically Chicago, and I'm thinking, nah, you know, my first instinct was like, man, no, you ain't gonna be Chicago, and I'm like, this is Chicago, y'all. Uh, I mean, it was really, yeah, really good. I can't even argue, can't yeah, argue. Yeah. Um, other things they had on the specialty menu, of course, the toppings you could. There's a bunch of different yep. toppings you could pick from, but the specialty menu, uh, they had buffalo chicken pizza. Yeah. It says it's one of a kind. It's a spicy buffalo sauce. Uh, with homemade pizza sauce topped with chicken, side of blue cheese or ranch. Mm-hmm. Um, they had a taco pizza, which is sausage pie topped with fresh diced onions, tomatoes, and lettuce, and a taco sauce. Hawaiian, which is Canadian bacon and cheese and pineapple. Um, they had a meat lover pizza, yeah, which is um, sausage, pepperoni, Canadian bacon, and bacon bits. They mm. had a firehouse supreme, which is sausage, sausage, mushrooms, onions, green and red pepper. Yeah. You know what and of I was, course, there's a veggie pizza and a butter pizza. You know what I was thinking? Uh, what the hell's a butter pizza? I bet you that's slapped, though. I bet that the, bur- the bread probably oh, go crazy. It's ma- oh, it's made with a butter. Yeah, crust. Yeah. Yeah, I bet just that's left. Um, you know, you know what I what I really like about this. I just thought about uh, since this is so close to Indiana. If Indianans, Indianians, <laughs> Indianans, in, 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 <laughs> Indianians, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> if uh, they come over to Chicago and like let's get some Chicago pizza, hey, man, go, right, yeah, go right there. I'm not mad that this is the place that they're gonna come to and get representation. Yeah, you know, I'm not yeah, mad. That's, I'm not mad. That's so good. This is this is fantastic. Yeah. Like wow, um, and and the pizza. If you if you don't get off the specialty menu, you just get the regular pizza menu, and you add your toppings. Um, it's you, the junior, which is nine inch, is nine dollars and fifty. The small is twelve fifty for thin crust, seventeen dollars for deep dish or stuffed. For, uh, for the fourteen inch medium, it's fifteen dollars or twenty for deep dish. Sixteen. Mm-hmm. Of the inch is seventeen dollars or twenty three. It's not expensive. Yeah, no, it's not. No, you know it's what not. I mean? I mean, look. Here's the thing. Even if it was higher price, the amount of pizza that you get, yeah, for real. is just like I feel like the I feel like the portions are larger than normal. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like so I for agree. me, yeah, I, shit, I'm paying that price every time. For for that, we we still got like half a pizza left, and realistically, that half, I see why old girl ordered that and she be eating for the rest of her day, Forever. like for a week. You know Forever. what I mean? That pizza can last for a long time. And I bet you the reheatability is ridiculous. The reheatla- reheatability. Reheatab- and that shit rolled off the tongue, too. You know? You like that? It's like yeah. you used that before. <laughs> it's like reheatability. You know what I mean? Your tongue do be rolling. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Hey, shout out to your boy. Uh, the sides. <laughs> yeah. The sides. We got uh, sausage pizza bread. Sausage pizza bread. Yeah. And that's which sh- I didn't realize was literally just going to be pe- sausage pizza on a, on a piece of bread. Yeah. Yeah. 
That shit was fire. That was, that, <laughs> it was fire. It's, it's literally gone. It's just... Gone. We ate it. It's like a... Just just imagine if you took a slice of pizza. <laughs> and then put it on bread. Yeah, just, and oh, just like a French like baguette. Yeah. <laughs> like, literally. <laughs> or hoagie bread. And that shit is... Um, that shit was... It was good. Yeah. It's $4. I can tell it. Like, for a snack, like a quick little... That's, that could be somebody's meal. Meal. That's a meal. So, like, the, they're larger slices, pieces of bread. And, like, you get two of them. Yeah. It's like they just took the bread, one loaf of bread, yep. cut it in half, and there you go, and added a bunch more toppings on literally, there. Literally. Literally. Oh, you some crushed, crushed peppers on there? You know? Shit. 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 Some fresh garlic. <laughs> um, For the sandwiches, which we also ordered two sandwiches, just to try them out. Uh, we ordered the Old World Italian Meatball Sandwich, which is four lightly seasoned meatballs on a roll. Yeah. Served the way you like it. <laughs> yeah, which buddy. Which includes cheese and red sauce. Hey, let me tell you. You could add extra toppings to it, too, by the way. I don't even know what else you would add to it. I mean, green pepper. Green pepper probably green, be green smack pepper. on it. Green pepper probably be smacking on it. I would add black olives, personally. Ugh, you like Nobody black asked for your opinion. I said personally. I, <laughs> personally, me, I would add black olives. I didn't say I'm going to shove black olives on your throat, Dario. Please don't ever. Shit. <laughs> I promise you that. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> don't do that. We also got Pudgy's Old Fashioned Sausage Patty Sandwich, which is literally a sausage patty, a third... One out of three pounds. Yeah. That, look. A third pound. A third. Sausage <laughs> One pad. out of three pounds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, baked <laughs> on a bun. Oh, God, it's so good. It was good. It was good. You know, Honestly, the pizza out outshines yeah. both. Right, here's the thing. Yeah, I was, because everything else is really good. Yeah. If we hadn't had the pizza, which is weird, why would you come here and not get the pizza? Right. But if, if we didn't have that and we just had, the, the the other stuff. Yeah, we'd be like, good. oh, that was that was one some of the it best. It was really good. Yeah, this shit right here, the pizza. Set it off. <sighs> yeah, that pizza won. That pizza. Yeah, that pizza won. Yeah, that pizza is. I, we didn't have the other uh, pizza in town, but <laughs> this uh, this shit right here. Yeah, man, look, y'all. I just really realized you, you were saying Pudgy sausage, you <laughs> Pudgy's meatball, like all that shit. Yeah, that's what I get it. I get the name now, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> well yeah. played. Well played. Uh, um, they also have an original Stromboli. Which is sausage patty with pepperoni, mushroom, onions, green and red pepper served with cheese and red sauce. Yeah. A meal by itself. All these sandwiches are seven dollars and fifty cents. Yeah. Um, you can add be- beef to the pa- to the sausage patty. You can make it a combo, and it's nine dollars. Yeah. Which is very inexpensive. Yeah, that's very inexpensive. A seven dollar meatball sandwich. That's not bad. It's yeah, that's huge not bad. Too. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's very huge. Yeah. Stop it. <laughs> uh, you could get the super beef sandwich, which is super also beef. Italian beef uh, served piping hot. Mm. Really? That's the only... It's a, it's a third pound of thinly sliced Italian oh, beef shit, served so that's piping a lot. hot. Um, and then you they have the Pudgy's Chicken Supreme, Ooh. which tw- made with twin boneless skinless breast. Oh. Uh, you can get it multiple different styles. You can get it from Vesuvio, which is extra virgin oil, olive oil, garlic, oregano, and toasted on cheese bread milano style which is melted cheese and red sauce mm. malibu style which is canadian bacon cheese and tomato yeah sicilian which is fresh spinach green olives red sauce melted cheese and garlic or yeah. rhinos ranch yeah. rhinos ranch which is creamy ranch dressing, melted cheese with canadian bacon lettuce to- side tomato mm. okay also which is include chips yeah the, the chips honestly you didn't even eat the chips. i wouldn't even eat the chips i wouldn't even i mean honest. everything else is no, going but good. If, you, if you're getting a sandwich and like if you're getting one soda mm. a sandwich and a ch- you could literally get an, a meal for eight dollars and fifty cents with a soda, a sandwich, and a bag of chips. Yeah, for eight dollars. Yeah, nine dollars. Yeah, you can go crazy, uh, y'all. <sighs> that I gotta, girl, you that gotta girl go. about to get her. Yeah, they, her so ass by update. That yeah, yeah. These, <laughs> they they were, about to eat her. Quick update: They were feeding. Uh, there's people here that were feeding the, the geese, uh, yeah. and they peacefully. And, <laughs> and so she got out the car. And just, I feel like she wanted to go up close she was to trying him. To pet the go- she was the trying goose. to pet the goose. Geese. Yeah, yeah they, had, they had to pull off. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah they, they, it's they two of them. Leave. They some thugs, y'all, man. Yeah. Like, but they peaceful thugs. Also, like, <laughs> public service announcement: Don't feed birds bread yeah. because they cannot digest it. Yeah, yeah, they, you're yeah. literally murdering them. Yeah, yeah. Let's. let's As a matter of fact, keep feeding the birds bread. No, stop it. Look at fuck them birds. No, Peter gonna be at our doorstep. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Peter gonna be in that comment. Like, I didn't do it. I just, I just told people. <laughs> we told them not to. We mm-hmm. also said fuck the birds. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, that's it. I mean, I, I mean, I got another. You don't, you don't have any other comments. I mean, I loved it. I loved it. Yeah. I, I loved it. Yeah. Uh, y'all, uh, I, hell, look. If I'm ever back in Hagwood, <laughs> if we ever find ourselves this far if south, we, if we, if I ever come through here again, yeah. um, I'm definitely gonna remember that spot. 
one thousand percent. We also want to come back because we want to try Club Eighty One. Yeah, got, I feel so, like that's probably why we're gonna come Club back. Club Eighty One has been there since nineteen forty-five. Yeah. So if yeah. you are out here and you don't necessarily like pizza or you don't want to get pizza, you want to grab a drink and have some like actual like bar food. Yeah. Try Club Eighty One. We did not try it, um, but it has fantastic reviews. It's been in the area for. I don't know, For 2022 minus 1945. Do the math, okay? <laughs> Whatever the fuck that is. All right, you got it. You got uh, a phone. You got this big dog. Um, <laughs> and so it's it's been here for that long. Uh-huh. People love it. And, you know, on that note, y'all be blessed. If you <laughs> liked this episode, go ahead, send it to someone you like. Y'all rate us. Sub- you know, subscribe. Do, you I'll do all that shit. Um, if you did not like this episode, it's probably the geese. It's probably the yeah, geese yeah. out here being yeah. haters. Yeah, the geese okay. probably the one going to leave the comment. We you been- know? They, they just peaceful. <laughs> nah, man, fuck them geese. Uh, fuck uh, the birds and fuck your kids. All right. Hey, well, that's all, folks. That's all, folks. So <laughs> no, we'll see you next time. Dario Sarah, we out here. Peace. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of 77 Flavors of Chicago. We look forward to having you again next Monday. So make sure you look out for us on any platform where you can listen to a podcast. Make sure you rate, subscribe, and do all the things. And we'll see you next Monday.